the space feels so much more open and transparent and welcoming. It feels like the whole front of it is just like sort of welcoming arms. I was married in this space in 1950 and served on the council almost exclusively for 20 years. Uh, president of the council, volunteer laborer. So Sally and I first met here in this church. She is the uh, wife of the pa uh, pastor and me is, uh, is a member of the congregation. And 30 years passed. <laughs> And many things changed. Um, uh, my wife uh, passed away. Sally's uh, husband went on to Portland to, to uh, uh, be in campus ministry. Be in campus ministry. And so one day I was down in Ballard at QFC in the wine department, <laughs> and I heard a voice say, Hey, Doug! And I looked up, and here was Sally and it's blossomed now into a, a real uh, lifelong companionship. But I like how you preserve some of the wood. I mean, you yeah. can tell everything in here was intentional and that you're still honoring the people who built this. And my name's Sarah Yolman, and this is my good friend, Jessica Parrott. And I got involved with Sprouts and it made the church smaller. And it made, and I met people with similar life situations as myself. And Sarah and I started attending at the same time and found we had a lot in common and we're kind of seeking the same thing from church, which was kind of the initial way we connected. Yeah. yeah. Now that I'm coming in here, it just feels like possibilities. Like I'm already picturing all the different services and different just, Types of types of worship and even events and celebrations that can hold that the space can hold, and I think that's like new potential that we couldn't use the space for before. And really serve the community. Yeah, yeah. You know, a big part of the reason that, that we started looking for a church and ended up here is because of my kids. Um, you know, I, I I didn't grow up in a Lutheran church, but I found this one, and, and it just fit me just right. And then I also appreciate that I feel we can just come as we are, wherever we are in our journey. And I think we can ask any questions okay for my child to ask. And um, it's been really neat to see her just understand God and ask questions. And um, it's, I think it's just kind of elevated our conversations at home. So I just want that to continue to happen.